And now, Wibbit's 2020 Local News First with WIBT News Director Rick, Rick Brandadora. Another black on Latino crime, this time one of three charged in the assault of Irving Mayan Guzman was ordered held last night after a judge in Mays Landing video showed the three punching and kicking the victim. Saturday now, the body of Irving Mayan Guzman of Egg Harbor Township was found in the marshes near Center Falls on Delilah Road. It happened January 25th. Brothers 24-year-old John Hands and 29-year-old Garnell of Pleasantville had their detention hearings for the same charges postponed until February 10th. At yesterday at the detention hearing, 30-year-old Jamal Timberlake of Atlanta City pleaded not guilty to aggravated assault and conspiracy to commit aggravated assault. Judge Todd Miller said he based his decision on a combination of factors including the charges, Timberlake's juvenile history, and the evidence against him. But Atlantic City officials need to focus their attention on rebuilding the budget structure here in Atlantic City. Recent hits overall because of the overall pandemic has created some major problems, but redirecting energies and budgets are important. That according to Atlantic City City Councilman Jesse Kurtz. In a time where our credit rating has taken such a hit and we're prevented from going out to the bond markets for capital needs, we've been able to find money for resiliency projects. So in terms of preparing and working through Here in South Jersey, our weather is always changing. That's why Nor'easter Nick is always there. I'm there when it matters most. Anytime, anywhere. And on any screen, so you know how to prepare. Tracking severe storms with the most powerful technology, so you're ready no matter where you live. Delivering the most accurate weather forecast on air, online, and on social media. Putting local first around the clock. Nor'easter Nick, South Jersey's weatherman. Philadelphia Radio Legend, reborn in the Jersey Shore. WIBG. 94.3 Atlantic City.